In 1994, Greg Shapiro went to Amsterdam to take a job for the summer. Twelve years later, he's still trying to figure out when he's coming back to Chicago. But hey, I'm a double citizen and I have two passports. How many people have two passports? Just curious. Yes, yes, two passports. It's handy. Now I can complain about two countries. Normally you get to hear George Bush and he's just so full of himself. This is America. And in, in America, we, we believe in freedom. We believe in freedom and democracy. And, and if you're not for us, then, it, then and if you're not with us, then you're, you don't love freedom. <laughs> the new headline is that uh, in Germany, they are bringing up charges against Donald Rumsfeld for war crimes. Yeah, yeah, we invented the war crimes, so <laughs> we know when we see them. I can't help but picture, you know, there's going to be Donald Rumsfeld. Who knows? What if he's guilty of war crimes? Picture Donald Rumsfeld standing there like a rope around his neck next to Saddam Hussein with a rope around his neck. Saddam just looks over and says, are you fucking happy now? <laughs> Man. And then all of Europe, at least, all of Europe stands up and says, hey, we do not agree with the death penalty. Then you have Jan Peter Balkenende, who represents all of the Netherlands, when he says, oh, yeah, that like me good, yeah. <laughs> Jan Peter, you know, if anyone was wondering, what was that noise? It was 16 million Dutch people going, he said, what? <laughs> and why? Why is Jan Peter so in favor of the death penalty for Saddam? Well, I have a theory, and the theory is the longer that Saddam Hussein stays alive, the longer he might tell someone about the chemical weapons that he bought from the Dutch guy in 1982 to use against his own people. Yes, people forgot about that case. Frans Anrat, a famous Amsterdam guy, and uh, apparently, yeah, he was just doing some business with Saddam. Oh, some chemical weapons got used against the Kurds in 1982. And then Jan Peter Balkanen is saying, yeah, I think uh, the quicker we can uh, get rid of this Saddam Hussein, the better. Yeah, yeah, that works. But then the question remains, you know, next week when Dutch people, you go to the polls, when you go to the voting booth, you just have to wonder, how can you vote for a prime minister that sounds like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> you guys having a good time? Yay! Oh, nice. Is everybody excited about the uh, elections next week? I ask a lot of Dutch people, like, why are they happening now? Some people don't really know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the people that say, like, yeah, waarom uh, weet je dat, waarom weet jij dat niet? <laughs> yeah. Waarom vraag je in het Nederlands, in het Engels? Waarom uh, niet je hele voorstelling in het Nederlands doen, uh, Craig Shapiro? That's Greg Shapiro in Dutch. Crick, Crick Shapiro. I love that, the Ferdonk thing. Uh, I just can't think of her name without thinking of uh, playing that little game as a kid with the tube and you got the little, you know, pegs that go through there and you gotta keep those marbles up in the air, but uh oh, sooner or later, kerplunk. That's Ferdonk to me, Ferdonk. I just can't hear her name without thinking of someone having a fall, you know? And uh, yeah, maybe Ayan Hirsi Ali. I came from Africa. I was a citizen. Now I'm in parliament. Now I'm even too big for my own party. Uh oh, ka, yeah, she fell for donk. And then the same thing happened to Rita herself. I was a minister. You know, I, at first she was uh, like a prison warden, yeah? I'm a prison warden. Oh, I'm nobody. Now, oh, now I'm in the Fei Fei Day. Now I'm the minister of immigration. Now I attack a member of my own party. Oh, for donk. She also, she kind of for donked herself there. 